Welcome to Staying Active with Coach Taylor for our one minute challenge that we're going to be doing in just a minute. You will need 12 cups. I have a timer so you don't need a timer and just some space where you can uh, do an activity here on the floor. I'm doing it here in my living room. You can do it somewhere else if you'd like. But once again, have to make sure you have some space. You may want to have a blanket or a towel down for a little bit of padding. I'm on a wood floor so it's a little hard. What we are going to do is do an activity called Roly Poly. So in this activity, I'm trying to get the cups from here. I have three rows of four, so 12 cups in all. I'm going to have to be you know, in a main position. I will take a cup and I will have to roll over all the way and put the cup on the other side. Then roll back and grab another cup and then roll, place it there, roll back. So the object is to get all 12 cups from here to all 12 cups over there within a one minute period. So this is our one minute challenge. It is called Roly Poly. So I'm gonna move the cups back over here. You can pause the video for just a second and try and go locate the 12 cups. But uh, you can have any objects you want. You could have uh, 12 different uh, socks. You could have rolled up balls of paper. Uh, so any items that you can find, you will need 12 of them to place over here. Once again, rolling over and placing them on the other side. So I just happen to have 12 different cups, so I'm gonna use those. So we're gonna give it a try. So pause the video, go get your cups or objects that you can put over here and come on back and we'll give it a try. All right, now that you have your objects, once again, line them up, 12 over here. I have a clock, we're gonna lay down on the ground and we're gonna see how we do and see if we can do it in one minute. So ready? Set and go. Whoops. Try to do a complete roll if you can. I'll bump them into my cup, but that's okay. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Good morning, oh. One more to go. like I just made it in time. Hopefully you guys, you guys did too. I'm a little sore. This wood floor is a little hard, but hopefully you had some fun. Hopefully you're awake now. Hope you enjoyed being active for that first one minute challenge. Come on back and we'll have another one in just a second for you. Great job. All right, for this one minute challenge, you are going to need a flat surface. I have a timer right here, so we'll use that, see how it does. So we'll have one minute to do this challenge. You will need a ball and a cup that you can catch the ball in. So you want to have a ball that can bounce, number one. Two, small enough that it fits in the cup, okay? And hopefully it doesn't get stuck in the cup. The way it works is very simple. You are going to only use one hand at a time. So I'm going to bounce the ball with my right hand. Then I have to try and grab the cup and catch the ball with my right hand. Then I flip the ball down and put the cup back down, and then I try to do it with my left hand. So to demonstrate that, it should look something like this, or at least I will attempt to catch it, so let's see how I do. I will bounce the ball with my right hand once again, grab the cup, flip it over, and try and catch the ball with my right hand. So something like that. Then I will place the ball down and the cup down, switch hands, and then with my left hand, try to bounce and catch and then place the ball down, place the cup down, and then switch hands. So alternating hands, trying to do as many catches and bounces within a one minute period, and we'll see how we do. All right, so make sure you have a ball ready, a cup ready. You can pause the video for just a second if you wanna go find those items. Come on back and we'll give it a try. 
All right, now that we're set up, I have my ball. Since I'm starting with my right hand, I want to have the ball on the right side. Another trick to remember is once I catch it in my right hand, I want to place the ball on the left side and then the cup so I'm ready to go right away with the bounce with my left hand, okay? So since I'm starting with my right hand, I'm going to switch the two items. And we're going to have one minute on our clock. Good luck to you. Good luck to me. Let's see if we can do it. So I gotta try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, hopefully that's a fun. You can challenge your friends. But working on hand-eye coordination, nation, working on both sides of the body, right side and left side, not just your dominant, and uh, having some fun with it. So that was another one minute challenge that hopefully you enjoyed. Come on back and we'll have another one in just a second. For this activity, you will need a piece of paper and a towel. The towel you're gonna fold in half create a space that you can stand on, sort of an area for the activity. So I'm going to fold it in half. Right about that. So while I'm doing this activity, I have to stay and remain standing on the towel at all times. That way if I step out of here, then I'm out, okay, or I have to start over. So try to stay on your towel. The second item you'll need is a piece of paper. The piece of paper you are going to roll up into a ball. For those of us who are much older than you, when the computers came out, they had a game called Pong. And you would have a line on this side of your screen on your computer, and one on this side, and the ball would go back and forth. And as it moved, you would try to move your paddle up and down to bank it back to your opponent. And they, in turn, would try to move their paddle up and down to block it. So sort of blocking the goal. If it got by you, then the other person would get a point. So in this instance, your hands are your pong paddles, and you are trying to keep the ball going in the air as long as you can. You are going to have three attempts. So first of all, you would roll your piece of paper up into a ball. You would stand in your, on your towel. I'm gonna move it towards the center, so I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, you would have your paddle, and then you would try to hit it in the air, keeping it going, okay, and counting how many times you can keep the pong ball going, and see what your high score is amidst the three attempts. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So, here is my first attempt. I have my ball starting right here, and I'm going to have two, oh, only two there. So hopefully I can beat that. I'm getting a lot of glare from the candle light, so I'm gonna aim this way a little bit. Let's see if I can do better than two. score but uh, once again trying a physical pong game 
for this challenge. Good luck. All right, hope you guys are ready for today's workout. I've created a space. Once again, I have loose clothing on. I have my water bottle accessible and I have a clock which has a 30 second countdown on it. So hopefully you guys are ready to get up, ready to move around and hopefully ready to have some fun. So we're gonna do four different ex exercises. We're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds and we're gonna do three rotations of those exercises. So in between each exercise, I will reset the timer and you can stretch out, get a little break in between each set, about 10 seconds. And then we'll jump right into the next set. And so we're gonna be doing four different things. The first one is jump roping. If you've noticed, I have a little chandelier right here. I don't have a lot of space, my ceiling ceiling here. So I'm gonna be doing imaginary jump ropes. So once again, you can do two feet. You can try and go around twice at a time. Okay, you can imagine you're just doing it like a boxer, going back and forth. You can come up with your own style. You can skip, you can hop, you can jump. But we're gonna go for about 30 seconds with our imaginary jump rope. If you have a more space and you have a real jump rope, then you can go ahead and use that jump rope, okay? The second thing we're gonna do is lateral lunges. So not creating a lot of space here. You step to your side and you squat, okay? You come back to the middle, you go the other way and you squat down. So these are lateral lunges, okay? And just squat down and then step back to the middle and continue. Once again, just doing these for about 30 seconds. The next one are called steam engines. And steam engines, you put your hands behind your head and you are gonna try and bring your right elbow to your left knee and then alternate. So coming down here and then coming down there from left elbow to right knee. So first one is gonna be right elbow to left knee, coming down, okay, trying to keep straight as you can, okay. Raise your knee all the way up, and then left elbow to right knee. Coming down right here. So those are called steam engines. Once again, you can go faster or slower, depending on how you feel today, and if you really want to push yourself. The last one, which is always one of our class favorites, are wall sits. So for wall sits, you have to have a wall. So if you notice, I have a wall right behind me. I am gonna do 90 degrees on my feet, and you are just going to sit for 30 seconds. So working our quads right here. Okay, so those are our four activities. Hopefully you guys can create a space by a wall so you can do your wall sits. So find your location. You can pause the video for a second while you do that and then come on back and we'll get started. All right, now that you have your water bottle, you have your space with a wall accessible nearby. We're gonna go ahead and do our three rotations of our four exercises. So, everybody ready? And go. So, jump ropes. So I'm doing the boxer style the first round. Once again, you have the clock there so you can see the timer. Push yourself. We have about 15 seconds left. So halfway done, you guys are doing great. So keep it up. Once again, doing our imaginary jump ropes. Twist those wrists as you have to fling that jump rope up and around. And time. Good job for round number one. We're gonna go ahead and pause our video. All right, we're gonna pause that for a second. So just stretch a little bit, make sure you're warmed up. Okay, now we're gonna go into our second routine, which are gonna be our lateral lunges. So if you guys are ready, Ready, begin. Oops, I think I hit it twice. Okay, there we go. So, hands up, we step out, and we lunge. We come back to the middle, then the opposite way, and lunge. Back to the middle, other way, lunge. Back to the middle, step out, keeping your feet flat on the ground, okay, and lunge. Okay. Lunge and back to the middle, and time is up. All right, so we're gonna reset this. Reset this. That is not working now. Okay, let's pause that. All right, 
So for our next one is our steam engine. So once again with our steam engines, hands behind head, alternating left and right. All right, you guys ready for this? And let's go. Right to left, left to right. 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 Getting a good range of motion here. Make sure you're really pushing that knee up. Just going back and forth. Right to left. it's going to be our 30 second wall sit so you're almost done with the first round of rotations ready find your wall and go ahead and sit you can play patty kick patty kick you can have your hands on your head you can have your hands on your legs but we're going to hold it for 30 seconds keeping those feet flat pointing forward at a nice 90 degree angle with your legs Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's start for that. So one rotation. So since we finished our first rotation, let's get a drink of water just to make sure we're staying hydrated. One down. Okay. You guys ready for our second rotation? Good job to the first one. Keep it up. Make sure you're pushing yourself. Ready? We are doing our jump ropes. So this time I'm going to hop. Try and do two at a time. And then slow back down. Alternating. I can skip. I'll hop on one foot. Make sure I'm swinging that jump rope. You can mix it up. You can jump around in a circle if you want. Now go the other way. Then go back the other way. And back to the middle. And time. All right. Good job. Okay. Next one is our lateral lunges. So make sure you have plenty of space so you can step to the right and to the left. And let's begin. Here's our timer. Step. Step. Keeping your feet pointing forward. And lunge. Lateral lunges. Keep it up. You're almost halfway done. I think so. The best part is just trying to figure out how to do the lunges, huh? There we go. Okay. Next up are our steam engines. So once again, hands behind your head and alternating right to left, elbows to knees. Ready? Begin. Keep going. You guys are awesome. Seems like everybody's ready to work today. And one. Okay. And now into our wall sits. We're almost done with rotation number two. And find your space on the wall. Ready. And go. Alright. You can beat with the music if you want. Back up. Alright. 
All right, this is our last round, so we want to push ourselves to so see if we can go a little bit faster. Once again, let's get our second drink of water because we finished our second rotation. Once again, you want to make sure you're keeping hydrated. Going out today, it's very windy, so that's why we're staying indoors once again. All right, last rotation, jump ropes. I'm gonna try to go a little faster. Push myself. Now I'll push myself for two. Make sure you're swinging that jump rope. Taylor.